Hey guys, this is Yuki. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my first video. Thanks for clicking on it, by the way. Since it's my first video, I figured I'd show myself painting while I talk about some of the topics that I want to discuss for my future videos, since it'll be a lot more entertaining than me just uh, blabbing on in front of the camera. So some of the topics I want to talk about is uh, lifestyle, like lifestyle hacks and uh, cultures. And when I say lifestyle hacks, I'm talking about hacks for fibromyalgia because it's a really shitty disorder to be diagnosed with. I sure heck hated it. I hated the whole process of it. And I'll probably tell a story time on how I got diagnosed with uh, fibromyalgia. So we'll be talking about some fibromyalgia, some endometriosis, some culture shocks, since I'm a Japanese Canadian with a Canadian fiance, and it'll be really fun to do some culture shock kind of videos. Why the hell not? So for those of you guys who do have fibro, hey fibro fam, what's up and how you all doing? I hope that, like the videos that I make will help you guys with uh, preventing flare-ups and uh, dealing with insomnia, the constant pain, the brain fog, the forgetfulness, everything that we go through on a day-to-day -day basis, all that fun stuff that makes us look like we're old crotchety farts. <laughs> and for those of you guys who don't have fibro but have friends or family members that have the damn, what is it called? Disorder. Yes, disorder. If they, you know, if you know family or friends that have fibro, hopefully, you know, you get some insight on why we are the way we are and some of the stuff we go through on a day-to-day -day basis. Because it's not fun, but it can be very funny at times depending on which perspective you're kind of looking at and what kind of light you're looking through. So I want to showcase some of that since I think a lot of the crap I go through is kind of funny even though I'm in a lot of pain. So the other topic that I wanted to talk about would be like cultural differences since why not? I'm Japanese Canadian. I'm Japanese and I was born in Canada and I've never went to Japan yet. Eventually. I will go there, hopefully on my honeymoon. Like my fiance, Ash, he'll be helping me with that too because he is Canadian born, Caucasian, beautiful guy with blue eyes and blonde hair. Yeah, we'll be showcasing that. And he also has fibro, so we're definitely like a fibro fam or the fibro couple or the fibro twins or whatever, ew, twins. No, scratch that, not twins, no. Now, I'm not saying you to twins. I'm saying like if Ash and I were twins, that would be freaking disgusting. Anyways, I think it'll be fun to showcase like the cultural differences and the cultural shocks that he and I experienced when, you know, we got together. Mind you, he studied a lot of Japanese cultures, things on his own way before I came into his life as his uh, girlfriend, fiance, whatever the heck you want to call me, okay? In other words, he has a very good understanding of the Japanese culture, which makes me feel very reassured when I at times have trouble explaining certain things or wording certain things because English still is my second language. I still have issues with it once in a while. My R's becomes L's and L's become R's, but it's a lot of sentences and ways of expressing I have troubles with at times, so he understands why I have that issue and I try to improve them when he points them out, so he helps me a lot. And because I was born in Canada, I'm kind of whitewashed. I kind of meet halfway with him with our cultural differences and he meets me halfway with knowing a lot of Japanese culture. It's a really awesome understanding we got. And oh yeah, we both have fibro. He's got fibro too. And no, it is not contagious. I didn't get it from him, okay? It's a disorder, not a disease. Get that right. I do joke about that though, both of us. I'd be like, yeah, I've been living with Ash for like a year and a half or two and what do you know? I got fibro now. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my first video. You know, watching me paint and watching me talk about my motives on YouTube and what I want to do, my aspirations, if you will. 
and join me on this、uh, pursuit of a pain lessened lifestyle since, let's face it, we're not gonna be pain free ever. We're gonna have a little bit of pain, but a little bit of pain is not as bad as a lot of pain. So, if I can share things that might help you to lessen the pain that you're in, that makes me happy and I'm doing what I want to do. Oh, yeah, cultural shock videos too. I think that'll be a lot of fun to do. So, you know, look for that in the future too. All right, thanks again for watching and treat. Others, the way you want to be treated, and take good care of yourselves. All right, peace out. <laughs>